In this video, we're gonna show you how to shoot still life photography. The best part about it is you don't need a model, expensive gear, or any special props. You can just use what you have available to you in your house. And thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you're a person who prefers to visualize the final image in your head or sketch out your scene on paper, by all means, go those routes. But if you're a person who struggles with visualization, look to still life paintings to get a good idea of how to arrange your photo. You can simply Google still life paintings to find an endless array of inspiration. Try to find a painting that utilizes similar subject matter or similar size subjects and lay out your scene in the exact same way. With some practice, you'll start to get the hang of how to style your shot on your own. For us today, our subject matter is these fall fruits and candlesticks. So we're gonna use these two paintings as reference points for our shoot. For our composition today, we're gonna start with a neutral perspective to emulate the common perspective of traditional still life paintings. But that will just be the starting point and then we'll experiment from there. Make sure every part of your subject matter follows a cohesive theme. For example, since our theme today is fall, we've chosen fruits that are readily available in the fall or have moody autumnal colors. It'd be really weird to add a bright yellow lemon or spring flowers to this lineup. Be mindful of keeping your subject matter on the right track. Your lighting should be moody AF. A signature characteristic of still life portraits is the moody natural light. We're achieving our moody lighting today by using one main light source, this window light, and a piece of white foam core to bounce some fill light in. When looking through a series of still life paintings, we chose three words to describe all of our favorite ones. They were delicate, moody, and timeless. We've decided to use a black backdrop to keep our portrait feeling moody and to keep the focus on our subject matter. And we're also using a bed sheet to act as a linen tablecloth to add that delicate, elegant, and timeless touch to our photo. For one setup, the bed sheet will completely cover our table, like our first reference painting. And then in our second setup, we'll play with weaving it through our scene, like the second reference painting. Cutting a few pieces of fruit helps make the scene feel more lived in and adds a variety of textures and colors to the shot. Think of all the ways that you might be able to do the same in your photo. Experiment with the placement of your subject matter. If something's not working, try adding some objects in, or even taking some away. Okay, this one can be easily overlooked, but it's massively important. Make sure your still life is visibly interesting by incorporating levels into the photo. We're using candlesticks of varied heights, a tall olive oil bottle, and a cake stand to raise some of the fruit. We're also keeping some fruit on the lowest level, which is our table. Okay, ready? Now. Squarespace! All right, my first time making a website. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. Let's do this. I'm already done making my website. Are you surprised? I am. I'm really impressed with Squarespace's blogging tools. Yay. Whoa, they've got email campaigns? I'm totally gonna send one. <sighs> that was totally worth it. Look at all this traffic overview. It's all right here. A year ago, I didn't think I could have my own beautiful website, but Squarespace made it so easy. Thank you. This year, give yourself the gift of your own beautiful website with Squarespace. Save 10% when you use the code MANGOSTREET at checkout. Head to the link in our description to get started. Recap. One, compose your shot using reference still life paintings. Two, make sure your subject matter follows a cohesive theme. Three, keep your lighting moody AF, a simple window will do. 
Four, figure out the words that define your favorite still life paintings and find ways to achieve those. Five, implement ways to make your scene feel more lived in. For example, sliced fruit. Six, add visual interest by placing your subject matter on different levels.